Good afternoon, friends. I just finished up work. It feels like the best part of the day, don't you think? When you shut down your computer at the end of the day and you can walk downstairs. I work from home, so maybe you're leaving an office, but just you can walk downstairs and start working on the things that truly light you up. Um, I still have a full-time job, so obviously I have to focus on that for the majority of my day. And then I also have to focus on my kids, my family, my home. Um, but I really love having at the end of my day, of my work day, just coming in and working on a painting. I have been focusing quite a bit lately on making sure that I get um, I've been making sure that I focus a lot on my digital artwork and so I've been using my Procreate quite a bit. Ooh, let's let that settle in. I have been using my iPad for my, um, my digital artwork and that has been a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed it. I feel like I'm slowly mastering how to use the brushes within this program. And I thought it might be interesting if you would let me know in the comments of would you prefer me to share my artwork um, like analog style, you know, artwork, uh, watercolor papers here. Watercolors, gouache is the mediums that I work on. Or would you prefer digital? Also, both are available. It's not one or the other. What I want to do is share, you know, how I started drawing, you know, what, what sparked it, what got me into it, how I learned how to draw. That was, a, that was an experience. I totally thought that I didn't know how, and then one day I picked him up and voila, here we are. Uh, so I thought I could share that, but then also share how I've gone from working on watercolors to working on digital, and then also the progression of where I'm moving to next and where I want my artwork to take me and where I want to take my artwork. They're both combined. So I would love to know what you think, what you would love to see, also what you would love to see here. I, I have lots of ideas of where I want to go, um, but also I'm here for you. I'm here to service you and give all the information that I have and share it with you because I've kept the knowledge up in here for far too long. It is now time to give it out. So here, here's what I'm, I'm thinking of where I wanna take my art. So I'm, I'm sharing this information. <laughs> You're the first to know. What I was, where I want to take my art is, if you've never heard of this term before, don't worry, I'm very new to it as well, is surface pattern design. Surface pattern design is Anytime that you have seen a pattern on anything, there is a designer behind it. Someone has either painted it or did a digital rendering of it of sorts. For example, this pillow. Someone came up with that. I didn't know it was a term until, I don't know, maybe six months ago. And I, cause I was trying to figure out, I really love my drawing, I love my illustrations, but what can I do with it? It feels, there could be potential for more. So I stumbled across surface pattern design and it can go on anything. Mugs, home, hard, home goods, uh, fabrics, wall coverings, uh, tech pieces, all of it, all of it exists. And so I thought, well, why can't I do that? And so I kind of, what I want to do is share my journey with you about how I go from being this novice amateur uh, artist that's what i am creative uh, serial entrepreneur and how i take my drawings and put them into a pattern and then get them onto a onto something actually i got some samples the other day let me grab them for you one second okay so i created this pattern digitally and I'm just opening up my iPad as I chat with you. I did this probably a couple of weeks ago. I thought I would come, I wanted to come up with like a spring uh, 
um, like Easter pattern. Um, okay, so let's see. I will open this up one second. Okay, as you can see, I have a whole bunch of different artwork that I've played with. A lot of you haven't seen it, but it's this one in particular that I want to show is that I created all these different, I guess you can call them like hero pieces here. And then once I had all these pieces together, I moved them into a pattern, this one. So I moved it into a pattern like this and I created it as a repeat pattern. And I did it in, um, I think a couple, just the two color ways here. So like a mossy green and a pale pink. So then what I did is, one second, this is actually wall covering, so wallpaper to go. Just imagine on the wall here. So it has these little cute bunnies in the musty green color and it's pre-pasted. So if anyone wanted to put my pattern, for example, you can see it here they could get it onto a wall covering. So I printed both as just samples to see whether I liked it. Also to see like, did I need to move anything around? Which I think you can see here is that this spacing here, it's really, really close, which isn't horrible. But then this spacing here is actually really far away. And so if I put them both together because it is a repeat pattern, you can see here. It's a repeat pattern, so technically you can line it up a little bit here. It's not perfect because obviously these two pieces are printed differently, but this is the bottom of the wall covering. So this would hit the, like the, so this would hit the floorboard there and you would then trim it off and then this would fly up the wall. So anyways, I got these printed as an option and then I also got it in fabric. Look how cute this is. So this I realized could easily be like a bedspread or something. Or the other thing that I was thinking is I could shrink this down, make these this print smaller and then it could be more of like a sheet set or something just a little bit more delicate than um, how big this pattern is, which there's nothing wrong with having a big pattern. Um, but I do think that I need to create more in, in regards to like putting together a collection. For example, if you wanted to put this um, like on a shirt or something, which you could, you have to remember that it just becomes like bunched up and you can't see it as well. But if I think if I made the print smaller, it would actually be more of a delicate print, something more softer and sweet. I could easily see this printed on, um, like printed for, for children's crib sets or um, swaddles, things like that. And I think this would be so cute. This is what I wanna share my journey with you on, is how to make it as a surface pattern designer and what that looks like. So what I was thinking is that obviously I would love to take you on this journey with me, share everything that I'm learning at the same time. Obviously the trials, the tribulations, the blood, sweat, tears, all the things, um, I think it would be really fun. I haven't seen anything, actually I'll be honest, I haven't actually researched if anyone else has done it and I don't want to because I kind of just want to do this on my own without being distracted by anyone else because if you haven't figured it out yet, I love to research so much that it becomes procrastination tactic in that I want everything to be perfect, absolutely perfect before I show anyone anything. And I'm realizing for me to change that up, I need to share. I need to share my knowledge as I'm gaining it and just be like, bam, that's what I wanna do. I hope you'll come on this journey with me. I would love to have you. I have no idea where it's going to take me. I do have an end goal in mind and I hope I can reach it. I have a feeling that I can. I just need to actually do the action. That is another issue of mine is because I get into research mode, I get into eating my hair, um, 
I get into fear, fear starts coming in, it's not good enough, you know, I think we all, we can all agree that we've all been there and it's something that we all fall into. So this actually might be a great challenge is can I create a tablecloth to go with my Easter tablescape and then that could be a video that I do of like, hey, I created this, uh, what did I call it? Tablecloth. <laughs> I created a tablecloth um, to go with my inspiration because um, I bought these beautiful blue and white. Oh my goodness, my brain is just like not thinking of words. I think my it's thinking too fast and then my mouth isn't keeping up with what I want to say. Um, I picked up some blue and white are these called help me <laughs> placemats I figured it out picked up these placemats from home sense home goods if you're in the states um, and probably like a TJ Maxx or something if you're in the UK Europe and it's got this beautiful print on it and this is this is where I realized like I can do this obviously I have to teach myself how to do it but I could do that um, and I could get placemats made and I would love to I'm not going to recreate this but what I want to do is use this as my inspiration what can I create to go along with this and then put it on my table so let's let's have that be our challenge my challenge you're gonna watch I love it and I need to get it painted and whether that is analog or digitally sent to the printer and um, delivered to my house in time to finish up this video. I love timelines. So fun! So before I do anything, I need to find inspiration. I have an idea of my color scheme because obviously we want to use this piece as the inspiration. It's a beautiful, like, dusty blue and a white. I don't necessarily have to stay with blue and white. I can obviously do anything I want. Um, but it does mean that I just need to look for some ideas of like where I want to go. This is definitely very um, soft, uh, neutral, there's a lot going on, but also a lot of white space. Like even this far away, it's hard to see it. It almost blends in with my shirt. Um, so I can go bold and I don't know, chaotic if I want to. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to dive into Pinterest and to see what I find and, um, and then we'll do the next step. So. Let's go. My iPad was about to die, so I had to plug it in to continue this exercise. So, starting all over again. All right, so I'm opening up Pinterest and, oh, look at that. Very much in line with the tool here, but I don't think that this is gonna be exactly what um, what we're looking for, but it is very cute. I love the little hounds in here, and of course horses, very much me and my style. So, um, let's search, and why don't we start with blue, I can't spell. Spring. Let's go very specific here. Spring decor. Perfect. Let's see what happens here. So a lot of blue and white china. Hydrangeas. Okay. Rattan. Okay. So I'm just, at this point, I'm looking at color 
color ideas, also just what's popping up and what's catching my eye. Oh, I have a visitor. Okay, so yesterday I was in the middle of doing my Pinterest research and inspiration and got completely um, distracted, interrupted, actually interrupted is actually the right word, interrupted because the kids came in and I had to put aside my, my work and really focus on them and the next thing rolled into the other and it's now the next day. I am just finishing up work, so happy afternoon again. And I decided I'm still gonna wear it the same outfit as yesterday because it's super comfortable. But I do want to dive back into doing that Pinterest research with you. I just wanted to give you some background as things get sideswept all the time because life, families. Um, so I just wanna let you know, I, it's a struggle for me too, um, but let's dive in again and try and get some, some research in place. I'm gonna put a time limit on myself because I can, you know, get very distracted and just fall into the trap of Pinterest. I'm sure we have all been there. And so this way, I think I'm gonna give myself a time limit of probably 10 minutes to just dive in and see what I can find and that brings me some inspiration and then we'll do the next steps together of like taking inspiration, color, composition, and all within 10 minutes and then diving into the painting part of it. I still haven't decided if it's going to be dig digital or watercolors on my easel, um, but that's, that's for another time. That's for maybe tomorrow's problem. Today, we're gonna focus on Pinterest. All right, let's do it. Okay, nice and cozy. 10 minutes, right. Going to set a timer somehow. On. Okay. Okay, so we did blue and white spring decor. Jumping back in here, lots of hydrangeas, flowers, solids, like this, beautiful solids, some stripes. I like that one. I'm going to do a creative board. What are we going to call this? Spring. Now moved into my inspiration board. This one is not a secret. You can go in there under my Pinterest profile and find it. It's actually one of my favorite boards. If I'm ever, ever feeling blue or just a bit down or just, you know, needs a bit of oomph, zhuzh in my life, I love diving into this board. Just swiping along. It's like all the things that I've just pinned because it spoke to me from one way or another. If you go through this board, you will see there's like a very um, distinct taste, I would say. It's very um, timeless, classic, elegant. That is just what I am drawn to. So when you go through this board, you'll see time and time again, I kind of just repin the same thing of like every time I love this and I need to pin it, it needs to be in this board. And no rhyme or reason, it's just because I was like, mm, I need this in my life. So let's see if there's anything in here that I can take some inspiration from. Clearly, I love this photo because I pinned it to my spring, uh, my spring decor board, and I've already 
saved it in my inspiration board. There's something about it. Horses, stripes, I love those things. They make me happy. I like this color combination. There's my timer. I am going to stop. Just rely on the images that I've captured. It's so interesting, like I just, all I did was pin the things that I was attracted to at that time. And I can see a very distinct theme here. Obviously the blue and white because of the, uh, <laughs> I forgot the name of them again, placemats. Um, so that is like the underlining theme, but I can see it is that there's like gingham, checkers, stripes. And then I also brought in like this peachy corally color, also um, like a sage green as well. And then surprisingly, a very bright yellow. I'm not usually attracted to bright yellow. However, we might need to play with it and see and see what I come up with because clearly you can tell it's it's so complimentary so the next point is going to be drawing something that's gonna go along with that I'm excited I realized before I start painting anything I actually need to look at the dimensions that are required for my tablecloth so I went to the supplier that I researched of who I want to buy the tablecloth from and they have mentioned that I need 5760 pixels by 9984 9, pixels. So that is going to be my base that I know I need to work off of. And so what I need to do is decide do I want it to just be like one big piece, for example, like a Greek key trim, and that's it, which I could do, or do I want to have it like a repeating pattern that complements that uh, 12 pattern that I got. <clears throat> I think this will be a lot of fun. Again, I think I'm going to give myself a timeline, probably not 10 minutes this time, because painting does take me time. I need to think of the sketch and what I want to do. So I think what we'll do is we'll jump into the sketch part now um, and I'll develop a couple of different layers from there and then we'll really hone in on what we'll go to next. I am going to set myself a timer. Maybe 15 minutes to do some doodling. Here we go. bring up my board so I'm bring it here I really like the shape here so I'm I kind of want to play with that a little bit so I'm gonna slide this over and focus on that I'll bring you closer to me come on over let's pick my sketch brush here I'm gonna use a blue so let's do I actually really love doodling. Whenever I'm in a meeting or something, you will see me doodle a lot. I really like those shapes there too. So let's do that. It's, an or it's very organic looking here. I also really like this shape here. I really like that. 
next? <laughs> and then how about something? These layers here that I just did are all from one image. You can't really see them all that well, but from one image I was able to sketch one, two, three, four different ideas. Okay, so let's go to the next one here. I really want to try some gingham here, so let's get rid of that and have some fun. Gentle. has gone off. Okay, that is how much time I have for sketching. Oops, reset to that. Let's move this out of the way here. Okay, let's see what I can make here. Okay, I need to stop for now because I actually have a meeting I need to run to. So I will come back to this. So fun, thank you for joining me. I was about to walk away from the um, pattern we just designed together and my brain automatically was like, hey, it's like a sperm and egg pattern. And now that is all I can see. <laughs> uh, all right, I think I have to go either back to the drawing board and do something else or see if I can pull one of the other sketches that I did and see if I can play around with that because I'm never gonna be able to see anything different than what my brain just came up with. All right, running to my meeting and we'll come back to this when I'm done. Once again, the day got away from me. I had, we left off where I needed to go into meeting and ended that meeting and came downstairs with the intention of start editing on this video. And somehow two hours got away from me and it was a lovely two hours. A, a neighbor came over and just, we ended up having a great chat, but in the process I have lost the light as you can see it's actually that makes it look way brighter than it actually is um, but the light is gone and i was hoping to kind of finish my pattern today and share it with you however i think i might need to delay that for another day which i don't know this is all the these are all the things is if i delay creating the pattern it means that i like ordering it and getting it in time for Easter is like just, it keeps on getting pushed up back. So I'm actually thinking I won't get it in time for Easter. I won't be able to make like an Easter tablescape with that tablecloth. Ha, I remembered it this time. Um, so I think what I might do is still do a tablescape with this uh, plastic 
placemat. Look, I'm getting better. Um, and just do something really fun and, dif and different, well, maybe not even different, but just something fun with maybe pieces that I have around my home. But I'll still um, work on that pattern piece. I, I don't think it should take me very long. I, I, I am really trying to challenge myself to get faster at my drawings because it can take a while. Um, but I'm just, you know, just being honest with you in the fact that we're all balancing many different hats and trying to fit in, you know, our, our own pursuits in, in between all the responsibilities that we, we carry. And so I just want to be honest that it isn't always easy. I'm still very excited to work on this and show you my process and all of the things, I think it just might end up having to be maybe one or two different videos. Yeah, so actually that might be it, is that we'll have to end it here, this video, we'll end it here, and I think I'll call it like April goals or something. My goals are to work on a pattern with you, you're gonna keep me accountable, um, and then the next one can be like Easter tablescape, and also working on the pattern and just, it's gonna, I think it's just gonna be a series of us working together and me sharing my thoughts of becoming a surface pattern designer. Ah, it feels so cool to say that out loud. Um, yeah, if you have any questions about what I'm going through, my thought process, what I'm working on, please put them in the comments down below. Again, I'll share everything that I possibly can in the description box below so that you have access to as many things as possible. Um, if you made it this far, again, thank you. I love you. I appreciate you. And uh, please subscribe, please like, share with your friends. And um, I look forward to the next one with you. It's gonna be great. I'm so excited. Okay, till the next video.